Alright, hello everyone. So at the time of recording, there was a little bit of a competitive trend to post a few Splat Zones maps tier lists. So this is ranking every map in the game, but only on Splat Zones. And I posted my own, you know, pretty standard from what you'd expect. You got the two terrible ones I've talked about a good bit at the bottom, and it just goes all the way up from here. And for the most part, the placements and rankings are probably stuff most people who watch my content would expect from me, except for one outlier which is Mahi Zones in S tier. Now, to be fair, I forgot to include the completely empty X tier at the top of this because I just made this in like three seconds. There is no X tier spot zones map. If you're curious about Flounder, it's because the right side is not as climbable as it should be and getting there is a little bit tricky, which makes it a little bit more lockout heavy than it should be, but that's not really a major deal. Obviously, still a very good spot zones map. So I want to talk about Mahi because Mahi is seen as one of the worst map modes in the game. And I'm not going to bother with Tower and Rainmaker. Those layouts are pretty god-awful. Uh, I'm going to compare first off with Clam Blitz because I think Clam Blitz is the Mahi Mahi layout that kind of tries. It does illustrate some of its problems, but it's like, it's kind of there. So we're going to talk about the problems Mahi Mahi has and talk about them in relation to this Clam Blitz one first. So one of the main things is the spawn area. You have this little right side, but it's still outside of your spawn area here. And you're on low ground here. When the water drops, it's kind of better, not really. You have a little bit of balloon here, I guess, which the attackers can also use very well. Uh, you have a defending sponge in this left side, which is kind of fine, but there's not really too many places to go from this left sponge. There's like a little bit of cover here. And then there's top right, which is fine if you're defender and you actually have this, you know, you get a good bit of a attacking range, regardless of where you're at. But once the attackers get up here, this is very attacker favored. Like once the attackers are here, you basically have high ground for the majority of the spawn region. Like this is all high ground. And even over there where people can kind of hold you from spawn is more even ground rather than you being higher up. So it makes it very easy to lock out. Like there's a great spot for crab tank, booyah bomb, big bubble etc. Uh, second problem is that the stage can be a little bit cramped and small. You can see there is really not much room in the middle of the map whatsoever. It's like tiny. I mean, look at this. I'm grabbing so many clams right now just because all the spawns are so condensed that I could probably make like three power clams if I could grab three of them without losing them. But the other problem is the islands. The islands are pretty small and pathetic. There's pretty much just two of them in the corner. This block is here, but only when the water is up on this mode for some reason. And that means these islands, while they are completely inaccessible here. Clam Blitz also has a problem with the clam spawns allowing for way, way too easy uh, throws. Like, the attack is not back too far up. However, Mahi Clams kind of does get playable once the water level drops. Which does take a bit sometimes. It can kind of vary on the match, but... Once the water level drops, things seem to get a little bit better. The attacking spawn area is still bad, but at least they're now on lower ground rather than being above you. Uh, like, this is kind of a little bit better for a defender, so that makes it a tad better. Uh, the clam spawns are still bad, but now mid's less cramped. Uh, the islands aren't super useful, but they're here. Uh, you can kind of go around, like, kind of there. It's not really a flank, but it's like, it's somewhat there. You have some ground and terrain, and you know, this is fine. I, I think the layout when the water's down here on Clam Blitz is, like, pretty okay by Splatoon 3 standards. Not great by any means, but you could definitely see where the stage kind of opens up and has a bit more of its own identity and where it, it feels more like a real map. Now, Splat Zones does things even better. Significantly better, in fact. I wouldn't rank Mahi Clam Blitz very high. To be fair, part of it is because the Clam Blitz layouts are generally better in other stages as well. So it's just kind of an overall competition is harsher in Clam Blitz if you're going to rank all the maps. But Mahi Zones does a lot better. So first off, let's talk about this spawn region. Now the spawn region doesn't seem too different, but it's actually quite a bit better. This ramp allows retakes of this area to be way easier. And because this is a drop instead of a ramp up here, if you clear the attackers kind of off this ledge, you basically get this spot. You can get it way easier. The islands are a little bit more useful, and outside of that, things seem pretty similar. I mean, the layout of mid's a little bit different, but, I mean, the islands go from unusable to somewhat usable. 
So, this really isn't the part that's gonna argue for the stage very much. Like, I mean, this layout in mid could be argued to be better, it could be argued to be worse. Like, this part's kinda interesting, just because you can go back here. It's a very nice wall jump spot. But, if it was just this, this would not be an argument for an S-tier stage at all. No. Mahi Zones has one positive compared to every other Mahi, which is that the water level is going to drop usually within the first minute of the match or very early on because it drops at 60. And once the water drops, that's where this version of Mahi becomes superior. Now the spawn region becomes even better because these ramps now allow even easier retakes for the defenders. This is now very easy to kind of drop on this area, clear them out with the spawn armor. And on top of that, because it's splat zones, defender special advantage is strongest in this mode. It's 4.5 points for special per second versus zero. So it's very easy for the defenders to clear this side. On top of that though, you notice on the left side for these islands that they're now raised rather than being on the low ground. Before I mentioned it was kind of a flank, but not really. Now it's a real flank. This is much higher ground, which means not only is this useful for defenders as kind of an alternate defending position, it makes clearing out this left side rather than going through mid a real option. Like you could go mid and try to cut right or go mid, try to cut left or go far left. But on top of that, this is a much better flank. Coming from the high ground makes this much harder to deal with. And it's still a very fast flank that comes from one of the few real angles in the game. Again, if you're an attacker, this is a real flank. As a defender, even if it doesn't go all the way around though, it still drops you pretty close to the corner. And this is a pretty short distance, it has a bit of cover, and then you can immediately start to pressure key areas. It's a pretty solid side route. There's a bit more cover added in general. This block is really nice in terms of mid. It creates spots for attackers and defenders, and it has a very nice jump up there, which I would do if I am not bad. And I'm still bad. Let's see how many tries this takes me. Yay, we did it. Anyway. This route, as I mentioned before, is kind of a real thing. So you have one route through, two routes through, and then three routes through if you go all the way on the side. And that's kind of it. The stage is pretty small, but that's basically how it works. This whole area to get to the islands is much more useful. Oh, and this is also a thing. That's pretty cool. So honestly, there's way more movement options on this map. Being able to traverse the different sides in mid, and most importantly, having multiple regions and paths to get into the enemy base is really easy here. There's more defending and attacking spots, and it kind of opens up the map to these kind of two routes. The whole going through mid or going through the side route, and then when you push, it's a similar thing. Another positive the mode has is it's really difficult for the defending team to lock out completely. They can't push up super far due to the spawn region being close, which is one of the rare cases where Mahi's spawn is actually a positive. But the other thing is there's not really that many places to paint and get a passive special pulled zone. Trying to farm a crab as the defenders is really difficult unless if you didn't have to use it already. So it works out quite nicely. Overall, the layout on zones is not the same as the other modes, and it also has the benefit of having the water drop early. I think this layout actually does work very nice and has a good bit of alternate routes, and it happens to work very well in Splatoon 3's environment. Now, how would we make this an X-tier stage? Well, very simple, everybody. Uh, you do this. You go back. Uh... I'll be honest, pretty much the positives of this in terms of the islands versus snipe flank was already a thing in Splatoon 1. Splatoon 1 had the weaker spawn area, but Splatoon 3's Mahi Zone's layout also has its spawn area being the main problem, but the whole idea of flanking right side through the islands versus going down the middle is the same thing here. I mean, it's a bit of a different area where you flank left instead of having to go directly through snipe and wall jumping, but it's pretty much the same thing. Except on a better layout where the islands are more usable, the islands can translate into a real flank instead of almost being one, so now there's more routes in general, and the spawn region, while not as good, is a bit further away to where it kind of works nicely and retaking your own snipe is a bit easier. Yeah, the positives of Mahi Zones are, are from this, and they're still present in this layout, and this layout is better. If we had a fixed spawn region and a little bit better Mahi Zones, then, yeah, I, I think that's what they should have done instead of making, you know, this. But at the very least, I think Mahi Zones was not butchered as hard as people think it is. It's one of the opinions where I have kind of changed as I played on the map and kind of realized how stages play in this game. And, uh, yeah, I think Mahi Zones is a bit better than it gets credit for. So that's my opinion on it. Let me know what y'all think. I'll see you guys next time.